What would it mean if Christian and I and our 42 friends could build our own spacecraft and leave planet Earth for space and go somewhere up there? I'm actually working on a uh, one-tenth scale model of uh, the next space capsule. And it's uh, the purpose of doing this capsule is performing a wind tunnel test. The project itself is kind of a uh, an end goal right now in life for the skills we have obtained already. Personally, I've been working with all the human spaceflight aspects like capsules and Peter has been working with, uh, with rocket engines. Oh, this is the worst experiment ever. This is a, a very crude, low-tech turbine pump. This type of rocket that we have here, this is the propellant pump for this engine. I mean, it comes with, with shafts and, and, and precision parts and, and rotating parts, but that's, that's the world of big rockets. It's very, very different from fireworks. I am in, at war with gravity, in particular with, with mental gravity. Don't tell me it can't be done, because it's just about getting out and do something about it. You can't solve problems sitting in an armchair, can you? I mean, it happens right here in the workshop, with nuts and bolts and rocket fuels. And would you believe it? It's perfectly placed now and perfectly aligned, just like it was supposed to be. I truly hope that if, if there's supposed to be some kind of legacy from this project here, that would actually show the world that human spaceflight can eventually be for everybody. Right now it belongs to the superpowers, it belongs to the big companies, and I think uh, when we have succeeded doing that from, from Denmark here, suddenly human spaceflight might belong to everybody else. Yeah.